Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's focus on everything and all you need to get a full stack web developer job in 2022, how you can approach it, how companies like Codedam hire people like you who are applying for a full stack SDE role in a mid-size, in a startup company, in some place where you are needed. Let's go. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So honestly speaking for Codedam, we are in a unique position because obviously I am a developer. So I understand how developers learn. I have gone through that phase, that cycle. I work on Codedam, which is a platform which allows you to upskill yourself. And because I know development myself, I have a basic idea of what's a good way to learn development. That is, you know, practicing stuff. And the third thing is that because we are a company, we also hire developers. So I have a little bit of idea on how industry works in terms of how people are hired, what the current trend is, how it is changing and so on. So we are a web product. Codedam is a web product, obviously, if you don't know, which teaches you how to learn code and get a job and stuff like this. But eventually, we also have full stack web developer needs. What is a full stack developer? Let's start there and how you can become one and how you can get a job. We'll come to that. Okay, so a full stack developer for at least for Codedam, if I say that, hey, I need to work with a full stack developer on Codedam's infrastructure, I need to know that person can at least can work with, it's not mandatory that they have already have a lot of experience, but it's mandatory that they can work comfortably with front end, that is HTML, CSS, JS, and in our case specifically React also because our tech stack is built on top of Next.js and React. Again, not a hard requirement. React is not a hard requirement as long as you as a person know how to work with these three tech, you can very well learn React on the fly as well. It's not very difficult. It will take you a few months, but it's not a deal breaker. You need to know backend development, and this is important because backend is something which requires a little bit of different mindset to code. So here, you could have any other language, but for in our case, in case of CodeDump, for example, we prefer Node.js and TypeScript. So you should know this. Again, not a hard requirement because if you know JavaScript from front end already, you know the backend stuff, but you have to work, you have to have some experience with backend programming languages and backend systems. Plus, the databases also come here. And if you have been into backend for any longer than a couple of weeks, you would have worked with some sort of database for login authentication or anything like that. Plus, the tooling part, the tooling, I would say a tooling and deployment, because you don't want to learn a lot of things in this area. I mean, it's not a mandatory thing to have, but you should be very familiar with toolings like Git for version control, GitHub, for example. You should be familiar with, let's say, if you're deploying a static project, what are the current static services like Vercel or Netlify? You should have a few projects there. Even better if you know how to configure some raw EC2 instances on AWS or maybe DigitalOcean or Google Cloud Platform, doesn't matter. But you should have some sort of production deployment experience or at least production practice management stuff. And this is like, again, this is not something which is very difficult. It used to be difficult to set up an AWS account, enter your card and so on. But with the introduction of things like Vercel and Netlify, it's basically a click away in a lot of cases. It's no excuse to not have this sort of experience as a full stack developer on your resume as well. And finally, when you apply in a company like Codedam, let's say in a startup where you want to get a full stack developer job, if you know about this, if all of this is check, if all of this tooling is check, you should also have a bunch of projects using everything because that's the meaning of full stack, right? You can, we have developers who know about Node.js and TypeScript and stuff. We have front end developers who know that. We have people in DevOps and stuff who can manage AWS and so on. But if you're a full stack developer, you are a lot like a one man army, right? And in small startups and small companies, at least a lot of times what happens is that you don't have a very clear division of roles in front end and back end, especially with services like Vercel, for example, which includes API endpoints within the application. You have a lot of information flowing from front end to back end teams all the time and sometimes it becomes a lot overlapping and sometimes what we say with full stack is that these roles are you know handled by people who can do both and it's a good at least in our case it's a good blend anyway because our javascript and node.js tech TypeScript, and we also use TypeScript here with React. It's basically common, right? A lot of code based syntax and language is common. So now, the important point is that you should also have these projects which are built on top of combined effort of all these tech, right? Now, 
One example could be that let's say if you created a game, tic-tac-toe, let's assume on front end, you created some sort of back end or back end as a service like using Firebase or something as a, you know, you created a basic app. What you can do is combine that tic-tac-toe or whatever game it was with the real time back end and maybe add a multiplayer tic-tac-toe. And you know, to make it really impressive for an interview, you can actually make it highly scalable, you know, just over engineer things just to brag about how much you know this is this is like a common thing to do and it will be very interesting because tic-tac-toe is a very simple game so we will not spend a lot of time in the implementation part we'll spend a lot of time in how you think and how you organize and how you deploy and how you think about running things at scale so maybe this is something which you want to do where let's say you say that okay i'm gonna build a very simple project but i'm gonna build it in a multiplayer fashion which automatically gives a aha moment that hey you're using backend in some real-time fashion plus you're using it in a highly scalable way that means maybe your front end is deployed on Vercel, which is scalable anyway maybe your back end is deployed on aws lambdas which are again scalable and it's stateless it's serverless so it's awesome and then your database is something like dynamodb which also has a single digit millisecond latency and scales with the load which you are throwing on it so anyway the point is the point is that you have to learn obviously you have to learn stuff first number one number one step is learn second step is projects to back your learning because in an interview fashion or maybe in a pre-interview fashion you will not be able to convince the person that you know something until you quantify that so this is like an evidence of your learning and then finally get that job which is basically the startup or company or remote company or whatever you are applying for. Now, this is what I feel and this is what I actually do as well when I'm evaluating people for the job interview which apply for CodeDamp, taking a look at their projects, maybe giving them a little bit of assignment to build, seeing how much they know, not just the specific language or anything, but the, the core fundamental concepts and then, you know, just offer them a job. That CodeDamp, what we are doing, because like I said, we also need developers and we are a platform for training developers. We obviously have built a full stack learning path on CodeDAM. Now this path is interesting because a lot of the modules in this course in this path are made by me. So you'll spend a lot of time with me, but you'll also spend a lot of time building these projects and labs which you're talking about. The fundamental difference between this and let's say, you know, just going to YouTube or Udemy or downloading a pirate course is that you would not be able to build these projects, which is the evidence you need in job interview. Now the unique way CodeDAM works is that this path when you are going through it you will come across video lessons, you will come across practice labs which is an actual IDE, an IDE environment on right inside your browser which gives you the ability to write code, practice it, deploy it and also share it within your resume or you know if you're building a full-blown project then why not but we help you build that evidence. And finally, we help you get this job. And the way we do this, we are still in alpha for the jobs part, so hold your excitement. But the way this would work is that you will be able to apply to remote jobs directly with the companies associated with CodeDAM and even CodeDAM itself. We would obviously dog food our own product. We will list our own company in the job section. So the people who complete the full stack learning path will be able to apply for a job in a single click. Why? Because you already have the loan and projects evidence on CodeDAM's platform. So we'll help you just connect to the companies in a single click. And these companies, because they will hopefully mostly be remote, you can work irrespective of where you are in the world. That's the vision which we are building at CodeDAM to make at least full stack at the moment in Web3 and you know mobile application development and data science and everything very accessible and very affordable to anyone in the world everything online everything backed by evidence project building hands-on practice not any boring videos or boring tutorials because gone are the days where you know you would trust someone who is just saying something right you need to see what they have done this is the like the most important thing so i would just say do check out code dams full stack learning path i believe it's a great great resource for getting started even if you are not interested in completing this just starting this for free would actually give you a lot of insights on how our learning path works and how the practice element works and how by the end of this full stack learning path how you would also be able to get a job yep that's pretty much it for this video you can find all the links in the description all the discount links going on as well for this week we'll be pushing up the rates a little bit in the coming weeks because we are separating or you know just introducing at least the front end and the back end learning paths as well on code dam 
full stack would also remain same and it will also be added a lot a lot more content would be added to this but it's the time this is the time to get started with full stack web development if you're serious check out the links in the description for discount codes or you know special access whatever you want to say it but it will be available only for some time that is all for this one if you like this make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching